catch up before um, she gets attacked. And there's a battle straight away. We have the Admiral Hipper, Leipzig, Norberg, and two destroyers against, oh, bloody submarines. The Tribune and the Triumph. I ate, I ate. Oh, and they're calling the short Sunderland's air attacks as well. That's really hard. That was so close. That was so close. That is so unfortunate. Right. Um, she's okay. She's okay. Right. Where are they? We've got a sub there. Where's the other one? There were two subs, weren't there? We've only we've only got eyes on one of them. Right. Admiral Hipper. Swing around. Uh, do we have any? We have our own airstrikes because we are near land. Hang on, so if that is the... Hang on. Oh, there's the other sub up there. We, Admiral Hipper is now pointing straight towards her. I didn't see it at the time. But we've got this sub down here. Oh, crikey, hang on. Can I... Can I... Oh, how do I... I need to try and get on that sub and I can't select it, which is a bit of a... There, there we go. Brilliant. Right, so there's the sub. British sub, there we go. Have a bit of a look. So you got oh look, I like the inbuilt deck gun there on the conning tower. That looks pretty that looks pretty funky actually. Look at that. It looks actually like there's a skull on the front. I like that, that's pretty that's pretty funky. Right, so uh, let's um, angle of the dangle, let's swing this round. It's a bit of bit cheaty this is, because I can I get the advantage of looking underwater. Yep. Right. And yeah, let, we've got five. Oh, this is great. We've got Stukas. Brilliant. Right. Um, dive. Bombs oh, I was too late. I was too late. I had to pull up. That's all right. Don't worry. Don't worry. We've got we've got um, other aircraft. We can uh, have a go. But oh, stupid dive bombs. Wonderful. Right, okay, that wasn't the most successful run anyway. That's just a practice run. Um, right, Leipzig, I want... We've got, we got the destroyer. No, where's that? That sub's disappeared again. So, um, I want you to go charging this way. And again, we're going to get um, to, uh, the, uh, the bomber. Try and find the... Um, Sub, oh, where's the sub? Can you see it? Is that it? No, it's a bit of a handicap when you can't select the bloody sub. Is there an easy way of doing this? Probably. Is it that one there? see the periscope but I can't click it which is a is there a... anyone know if there's a better way of doing this selecting the blue in there must be a way of submerged contact god that was easy <laughs> just read the clues on the screen taff and uh, everything will be presented to you right there we go let's launch there we're gonna wait a little bit longer before we dive Dive. Bombs away. Oh, that was disappointing. Um, that looked like a bang on target. Right, anyway. Um, let's start returning some fire then. If uh, we're not really getting much way in the luck of... Um, those aircraft unless do we have anything else so we've got the airstrikes no what we really want is them to be dropping depth charges rather than uh, anything else so the, the target is over there 
What do you reckon that is? Probably... I don't know, probably... 13? Miles long, miles long. Right, our destroyer, and therefore we get... Um, contact bearings, right. So where are you positioned? You're positioned nicely, actually. I wonder if we try and get a, a snap torpedo away at the... Um, at the contact, at the sub. Where, where is it? There it is. Right, let's get a torpedo selected. Nice. Um, can we not select that? No. There we go. So, torpedo. Uh, 247.5. 247.5. We'll fire one torpedo. There we go. It just allows the sub not to get comfy and hopefully um, give her a bit of a run for her money. Right, so another destroyer. Um, I'm going to send you full pace past these cruisers. You turned a lot sharper than I thought you would, if I'm honest, because we've got another sub up there, do you see? Um, right, this contact here. We're going to have one more go with the airstrike. Um, let's try and come in from in front of it and see if we can judge that a little bit better. Here we go then. Good old JU87. Oh, well too early. We dived well too early. I'm not even going to bomb. I screwed that up completely. Oh, I'm annoyed with myself. Right. They got a chance to um, torpedoes in the water. That's my torpedo, don't worry. Oh, it's a little bit in front of the uh, in front of the ship. Right, you move forward. Uh, hold off the airstrikes because I'm woefully terrible with the Stukas. Now there should be a contact in front of you somewhere. There she is. Submerged contact. There she is. We've got another sub incoming. Right. So, um, where's that submerged contact? Submerged contact. Okay. Let's swing the guns for where are they? Can you even see it? There we there. There, there, lovely. Right. Um Oh, she's over there. So I'm going to guesstimate probably about 7.8. Quite long. Okay. Move forward. It's not going particularly well, I'll be honest. Um, we'll concentrate on the ship, in, uh, the contact in front of them. Concentrate on that one. Uh, what's the wind? The wind's okay, it's with us. So if I... Yeah, right. I'm diving too early, that's the problem. And but then I just, because I'm diving too early, uh, I'm obviously waiting too long to drop the bomb, and then the pilot has to pull up. So I just really gotta. I don't know why. It's one because we've been bombing previously with like Lancasters, which is a flat bomb, which is um, completely different to this. Right. So there's our two cruisers heading up there. We'll get you to keep going 
flat and try and dodge the uh, ship coming in there. We've got a contact there, which is the first um, sub. Did we have a shot at it? No, we didn't. Okay, let's. Yeah, we must have. Let's put some high explosives on. And we're going to go for about 7.3. Oh, that's close. That was very close. Spin this one round. You can see our torpedo in the water there. Um, torpedo 265. We're going to fire another torpedo at it. 265.7. Oh, there we go. Right. Fire torpedo. It's just so we can keep her head down, keep her out of the way. And all being well, that should be fine. Right, so that is that destroyer is taking an interest in that sub over there. Um, we need to get ahead of these ships to take on the sub over here somewhere. So um, let's come to starboard a little bit so we don't ram into the back of this cruiser. Can we change that from bomb? No, we can't. going to do a lot an airstrike but we're not going to do anything on that go we're going to let that one run let their subs come in okay you can see that contact over there submerged contact uh, this one we will have an airstrike against I think right hold 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 the dive hold the dive hold the dive Hold the dive. Dive. Bomb. Yes! Oh, we got there! The triumph is sinking. We bombed her to oblivion. That was... Goodness me. You know, practice, practice, practice. You get somewhere in the end. Oh, I'm quite happy with that. That does look like a skull to me front of the ship. Big blotch of oil there. Lovely. Oh! The Tribune decided to bug out. She took some light damage and bugged out. Um, so the only thing we've got is the Admiral Hippo which took some light damage. Not 100% sure if I'm honest. Maybe, did she have damage before? I don't know where she got that like, damage from. Anyway, uh, we got 1,600 um, worth of renowned there. Uh, North Baltic Seas, warship strikes mine. Uh, destroyer Z4, Richard Bredzizen, medium damage. Okay, she's still afloat, so that's okay. Monk, hello! No worries. I'm a lurk at myself. Uh, you know... 90% of, of Twitch is lurking, and you know, I, I know exactly what it's like. Um, very often I'll just sit there quietly. I normally have light, uh, streams on most of the day uh, during the week. Obviously not during the weekend because I'm usually out, but um, yeah, and I, do, I usually have it as just background noise. I like, I'm one of those people when I work, I always like to have a bit of background noise, whether it be the radio or a live stream or something like that, and just so I can concentrate on doing what I need to do. Right, so we've got the um, the Admiral Hipper here, which is obviously the, the uh, ships we just had that attack with, and we've got the destroyer here, which hit the mine. So we, let's send these in for repairs. That's going to take six weeks. Crikey, okay, and we'll get the destroyer in. That's going to be three weeks. So we've got these two cruisers and um, a destroyer sitting there in in port. We might need to send them out so they're not um, subject to further attacks from that sub. Yeah, I it, I think it's the same for many people, monk. Many people like a bit of background noise, just so you know, quietens the voices in the back of the head. You know what I mean? Uh, you're doing your homework. What what homework are you doing? Anything good? Probably something I can't help you with. I'm rubbish at homework. Uh, right, so we've got those ships in there, near Kiel, actually. Let's have a look at the shipyard. 
Oh no, I didn't want to do that, sorry. Where's the ship? Shipyard, there we go. That's what I was looking for. We've got 41,000 renowned. Now, we did say we were going to buy the Admiral Shear, didn't we? The um, heavy cruiser. I say we. I made that decision. Um, she's got six 11 inch guns. Um, 28,000. Let's, let's buy her. We need some. Yes. Yes. If ever I was going to spend 28,000 renowned, it's on that ship. So we've got 13,000 renowned now, which is good. Um, oh. The Admiral Hipper class heavy cruiser. Uh, they are 31,000. We've got a bit to go for that. Um, what's that? 21,000 for. Uh, there's the auxiliary cruisers. What I may get is a couple more. Maybe a. How much are these? 6,000. Get some destroyers just to, you know, just to help with the um, the subs and any anti aircraft um, attacks we have. Um, oh, enlisted in professional military education. So you can get to the next rank in the USF. Oh, the Air Force. Oh, lovely. Oh, where, oh, where are you based? Are you um, still in the States or are you based over sh uh, uh, offshore? Um, 6,000 for that destroyer. Six thousand. Yeah, all around 6,000 for the um, destroyers. Uh, these got... Sh 5 inch shells, 5.9 inch shells, 5 inch shells. Uh, let's get a um, let's get a Z23. Let's buy that as well as a support vessel. Nice. Nice. So there's our Admiral Shear heavy cruiser and there's um Did I buy Z23 or did I not? No, I don't think I did. Hang on. Oh, it's not. Oh, not ready for action till nine, uh, September 1940. We're a year out. Oh, monk, what happened? Hang on. I had this last time. Steam Elements mod is a little bit super sensitive. Um. Are you in the states? Working through Mildenhall in Sussex. I know it. Uh, Suffolk. Mildenhall is in Suffolk. Um, because I know it very well. I've been there. Um, I actually I live uh, I live just on the Norfolk Suffolk border, so um, I know Mildenhall very well. I used to, they used to have the best air shows. They used to hold them every year, and you know obviously all the locals from Suffolk and Norfolk and all around the UK used to go to Mildenhall, uh, and they used to be the best air shows. You used to have rows and rows and rows of those half barrel barbecues it's like barbecue road it was as millions of them you know it's it was i tell you what the united states air force knows how to throw a party they were pretty damn good and i was i was what 12 i was just it was just just in awe of everything um right what were we doing so we've got those ships we've got uh, we got these ones here we got the two battleships plus the destroyer and the u-boat um let's Let's leave the U-boat there and let's move these to the north coast of America to get them a little bit nervous over their coffee in the morning. We've got the um, Admiral Hipper and the Lutzlow down here. Let's send them further s south, see if they can um, stop any traffic coming from Cape Town. Uh, meanwhile, we've got these um, U-boats which are just kind of sitting here, not doing much. So I might move U-40 there. See if she can um, catch traffic along the coast coming up to Gibraltar. Um, who do we have here? U-39. Right, U-27. You go there. I just want to try and fill this area so nothing can get past me. Uh, it'd be nice if we could get U-77. Good old U-77. You go and raid Reykjavik with that sub as well. We've got the the Cologne and the Destroyer sitting up there near Scapa Flow doing nice. What I might do, I might, might send the Admiral Shear and yeah, I might send, I might leave 
that cruiser and that destroyer there. And we'll send those two up there and we'll meet up here and we'll see if we can have a little bit of a uh, an, an attacking task force. Maybe send something into the med. If we can get something past Gibraltar into the med, we could probably take control of that. That would be quite nice. But it's only, <laughs> it's only October 1939. We're kind of trying to do everything in once um, oh straight away we've got the Admiral Scheer and the Leipzig oh no okay we have got two cruisers the cruiser Ajax and Sheffield and the destroyers Jarvis and, and Keith Jervis and Keith D does anybody else think Keith is an odd name for a destroyer all hail Keith the destroyer <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't sound a very aggressive name, you know? Keith. <laughs> well, I don't know. If you're a Keith. Hello, Keith. Uh, right, anyway. So what do we got? We've got... We're facing down the Sheffield and the uh, Ajax. And the two destroyers there, right. Um, okay. Let's try and keep our distance for the time being. And we'll try and pick off a couple of the destroyers. Uh, elevation 10.9. Well, I think it's a bit further than that, so I'm going to go 11.3. Ooh. Maybe 10.9. Well, it's, it was probably about 11. 11.1. Right. We'll get you to turn as. Actually, no. I think you're going to continue, continue on. Maybe we'll get some torpedoes in the water against the um, Torp 66. Now I know this is this is like actually no, we're too far out. I'm not even going to bother wasting. Um, we'll get some torpedoes in the water against those cruisers. While it may not hit them, it may get them nervous enough that they have to move and twist and shake and uh, dodge to try and dodge no, get round them, and uh, will not allow them to uh, line up a nice shot on our cruiser that's that's the thing it's kind of like I'm happy to um, sacrifice my my destroyer to uh, save my cruiser here Ooh. Okay, bit of plunging fire well over Right. Um, I do think we probably need to start taking on those. If those crews are all going to concentrate on me, then we need to we need to have a we need to take them on. I think let's concentrate on the front of them. Try and get their guns. Eleven point six. Let's bring up that. Eleven point six. What? Eleven point three was to there. So eleven point six. That might be a bit short. Maybe twelve point two. Yeah, you want to be careful a little bit with the uh, torpedoes, but um, it's it's not too bad. Panther, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Um, yeah, I kind of just trying to get rid of the torpedoes, i.e., send them um, scatter gun, and it kind of makes them you know, panic maneuver rather than anything strategic to try and strike them. Uh, let's concentrate on her then. Uh, I still think we're too far out for the torpedoes. I don't think I think it'll run out of steam by the time it gets there. Um, if she's what 26.7 nautical miles, is that or is that? I can't read that. Is that KN? Um, so elevation 14.9, 15.3. Let's go with it. It's only a guesstimation, anyway. Oh, crikey! What the hell did they hit? It's funny, as soon as I hit the other ship, <laughs> they go, um... 
Uh, the AI can't um, critically think when there's uh, torpedoes barreling towards them. Well, it is, you know, it panics the best of us. Oh, they're getting accurate now. Look at that, though. So the Sheffield, I think, is on fire? Here's the Sheffield. Let's have a look. Gun turrets are still in action. Fortunately, if we can stay it just about ahead of her, then she can only bring her four guns to bear. Her uh, AAA is out of action. Um, that's about it. That's okay. That that smoke and fire is um, probably a little bit more dramatic than the actual damage she sustained. But um, let's pick up the pace and stay ahead of her. Um, we're going to continue to focus on those front guns, try and knock those turrets out. So 12.2 was bang on the money. She's probably got a little bit closer. Let's go 12.1 then. Another good hit. So what has this ship got, gun-wise? These are 5.9, so they're quite quite a bit of damage didn't they so we're bang on with 15.3 so let's just knock that down uh, a couple of notches 15.1 we continue to fire I tell you what, that destroyer God knows what she's firing in those shells but the Sheffield is listing I think breath. <laughs> Held my breath as that one went over. Oh, nice short. Good stuff. And that's short as well. Lovely. Nothing to worry about there. Good, right, let's have a look at this Sheffield then. She looks in a bad way. Um, propulsion is dead. Uh, her spotter, main spotting is down, her main radar is down, and her AAA is completely destroyed. Okay, let's switch attention to the, uh, the Newcastle for now then. Um, although her guns are still, still active. Let's continue to... If we can stay ahead of both of them, then obviously we can uh, stay ahead. Oh, or she can only train her front guns to us. Right, 13.1. Um, we were scoring the Sheffield with 12.1. She's slightly behind, but she's coming a little bit closer. So I am actually going to go 12.4. I targeted the wrong ship. <laughs> Whoops! That's a destroyer. <laughs> oh well, we hit it anyway. That's not to worry. Pucker just a tad when that shot was about to hit you. Yeah, yeah, it's a kind of <gasps> squeaky bum time sometimes. So, okay, let's have a look. So that's. Is the, is, the, is the the new that is the Newcastle, isn't it? The one next to her. Oh yeah, um, Newcastle. Newcastle was in the previous battle, wasn't it? I beg your pardon. It's because it was that's the Sheffield. I'm just naming UK towns now, and cities. Right. Um. Right. So uh, seventeen dead on. So let's sixteen point seven. There you go. Have a go at the Ajax. Yeah, yes, there we go. We just took the flagpole off the rear of the ship. That'll show them. Captain Lockheed, welcome. Good evening. Finally caught TAF live stream. Whee! Welcome. It's, it's... Well, I'm not going to say how it's been going because I'll jinx it. But so far... Um... Shoot the Union Jack, yeah. That, that, you know. 
take the flag out or take, you know, the kettle out so they can't have a cup of tea. Boom. Morale will hit the floor. The Nemet, hello, good evening. Waves back. Um, how are you? I hope you are well. Good evening, good evening. Um, right, so we got the a a a Ajax. The ship was called the Ajax, although there's a Dutch football team called Ajax, spelled the same way. So if I say Ajax, it's, it's just a bit of a Freudian slip. Um, well, not really a Freudian slip, it's just a slip. Uh, elevation 12.9. 12.4 is bang on the money. So if we go... Yeah, 12.3. You'd have thought you'd have come a little bit closer to us. Hit into the bridge. If they're French, you just have to look at them and they would surrender. <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> oh, the poor French. They always got a bad rap, don't they? Bless the French. Um... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to say, to be fair. I ha actually happen to like the French. I love Northern France. I'm, I was very fortunate. Um, I convinced my girlfriend to go to Normandy. Uh, was it two years ago? 2000... 2017, we went to Normandy um, for our summer holiday. So we drove, got the ferry over to Normandy. We stayed in a couple of lovely gites in, in Normandy, around Bayonne and Caen. Uh, and we, we spent a few days you know, driving around the coast. We visited all the beaches, Sword Beach, um, Omaha, Utah. We went to Pointe de Hoc. Uh, and we also went to Pegasus Bridge. Or well, Basically, there's entire there's signposts everywhere of all the, the Normandy and all the D-Day um, sites. The, uh, the big ones you, you hear from the big battles and stuff. Uh, and so, yeah, we visited all those, and that was amazing. And you know, the French, I, I, the French are great. French in Paris can Paris can be a little bit funny, a bit snobby, but the French in the, uh, the rest of the country, especially around Normandy, they're just lovely people. Um, anyway, uh, where are we? Uh, Twelve point nine. So let's um, swing the gun up. Twelve point eight. There we go. And, oh, really short. and to defend the French, they were very brave in the ex uh, excavation, no, the evacuation of Dunkirk. The French held the line to allow the uh, all the um, ships to uh, get the men off. Sorry, I get a bit nervous there. Uh, you like the German campaign? Yes, yes. I had a lot of people saying the German campaign is the best. Oh, torpedoes in the water. So that's why uh, I chose it. And the fact that you play the British side, all you're doing is defending against U-boats. Which can get a tad frustrating. Right, so we know we've got torpedoes in the water from this bad boy here. Um... Let's turn slightly. And then we'll turn away a bit later. Uh, the Sheffield has decided she wants to start firing at us again. Uh, so it's before she can um, fully repair. How's she doing? She oh, so she's, her spotter's back and her radar's back online. So actually, we should not have um, given up uh, tackling her. We're going to continue to um, try and pummel her into submission. Right. So Sheffield is 11.6. Let's get these guns down. Let's go 11.5. Let's go for the front of the ship, in front of the, the bridge, to try and knock out <coughs> Excuse me, these turrets. Hey, there's a turret, and the Sheffield is going under. How's about that, then? Uh, right, I am going to spin you to starboard. And I want you to actually concentrate on these destroyers. Let's try and knock these destroyers out of the water. And then they're not going to pose a threat to our cruiser. Uh, elevation of 9.5. Fire away! Oh, we just got an underwater skirmish. Yeah, so the destroy uh, the they're going for our destroyer rather than our cruiser, which is. Which is did he just reverse then? I'm pretty sure he did. Oh, he's got a couple of good shots in there. Let's 
few that there long. Right, we gotta worry about our heavy destroyer. Oh, he reversed the terminal forward, did he? I didn't notice that. I wasn't clearly wasn't paying as as much attention as I should be. <laughs> but well spotted if you did. Right, so we know the torpedoes are being fired at that ship there. So um we're going to continue on our, our course then, and we're going to target the Ajax, which is there, um, at 12.1. We'll readjust once we get this this salvo off. Although, that's not bad. That's not bad. Right, we know, we can see the torpedoes actually, look. Oh, hang on, no. There, so we've got torpedo there, torpedo there. If she banks really tight, how well does she turn? Not particularly well, actually. That probably wasn't the best move. We'll try and get between these two torpedoes. She, they're going to run for the next go. They come to about there, and we hopefully will be able to turn between them. He says, hopefully. Uh, so 9.6, and we're bang on. 9.5. Might be a little long, actually. No, they're on the money. Look at that. Torpedoes in the water. Okay, they should stop. There we go. Okay. Uh oh. oh. Hold your breath time. Whoop. She's popping and banging. She gets good shots in there. Some good shots in. They're all at it now, look, they're all in reverse. We've got them backtracking. That's a couple of good shots there. They seem to fire far more accurately when they're reversing. You could make jokes about the French doing that, but, you know, we've already said I like the French. Um. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Anyway, uh, we're pretty much bang on the money, so I think we can get another good salvo against the... Bit long that time, but we got a smoking, right? So I'm hoping that will be enough. We may get away with that. We may get away with that. Yeah. Okay. I think we may have just dodged a bullet there. Oh, torpedo! As it happens. Um, 8.2, uh, 9.5 we were slightly long, uh, let's bring those guns down then, 8.4 because we were not seem to remember we did actually hit her. Yes, have some. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ooh, yes, we've dodged them. It's pretty sweet. Eurobeat intensifies. <laughs> Ajax is firing. Oh, it looks pretty good. Fortunately, they missed the turret, which is the all important thing. How's this thing still floating? And firing so accurately. Dodged nicely. Whew, excellent. Right. Um, what we do not want to do is then. No, the torpedoes are going that way, so we should be absolutely safe. So we're going to continue on with our s straight sailing, you know, making it really difficult for them to target us. So 12 was long. Let's say 11.3. Let's bring that down then. 11.4. Fire. turrets once but she's gone right um, so we've got that destroyer which is burning and that one there um, let's come to port slightly dodging those torpedoes look at them oh excuse me here's I got the hiccups um, how 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 is Jervis still afloat her propulsions 
pretty much knackered. Her pumps are gone, so she should be sinking. She can't fire torpedoes at the moment. Yellow and orange mean... So that's light damage, that's medium damage, that's destroyed. Uh, by the colours, so... They can get yellow and orange back into service after, you know, a certain number of goes to repair. Um, so we can't... There is sometimes a temptation to let them be and concentrate on the other ones, but we do need to um, ring them a little bit. Right, let's go 8.1. Jervis is sinking. So the Royal Navy, all their hopes and dreams, now turn to destroy it. Keith. Come on, Keith. Don't, no, no, don't. Keith. Keith is actually shooting pretty well. But she's now going to have the, um, the, wait, 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 didn't I just turn the other way? Did I, oh no, sorry. I meant to turn to starboard, but I turned to port. That wasn't ideal, Taff. You should, I, see, I lost concentration on what I was doing. Right, elevation at 10.2. We might be able to knock them out of the park here. 10.1, that'll do. First salvo. 10.2 10 was short as well. Okay, um, let's swing. We do want to swing this one to port so we can bring the rear guns into action. Let's select Keith. Fire that spotter. Well, yeah, okay. He's done all right so far. We've got two cruisers and a destroyer um, going to the bottom, and we haven't taken damage yet. We, well, we've taken damage, but we haven't taken a loss, which is pretty sweet. Right, let's swing this elevation up to 11. Let's go 10.8. I never trust the spotters. 11 was probably pretty good. 10.2 was way off. Yeah, it was. Here goes Keith. Go on, Keith. Keith's got this pretty well numbered now, hasn't he? Look, he's right in right. I wanted to go to starboard last time. I didn't mean to go to port. Let's swing around. Where are those just... Hang on, where are those torpedoes? They're not still active, are they? No, they're long gone. They run out of steam. Right, so we've targeted Keith. Uh, so 10.1 was short. And now it's at 11.8. So if we go somewhere in the middle, uh, 11. <laughs> Keith's on fire. Keith's on fire. Do, 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 do. Right, 10.8. They said that was bang on the money. Elevation 10.3. So let's go to 10.6. Because it wasn't that short, wasn't it? There you go. Keith's taking a bit of bit of treatment there. It's popping away, and he hits us every time. Keith, you, th th your days are numbered, mate. Give it up. Give it up. Uh, ten point one, and we did actually hit him with eleven, didn't we? So if we go to ten point five. Give him a moment, see if he wants to sink. Keith Spotter is amazing. Yeah, Keith is... Do you know what? I've, I've spent the entire engagement taking the mick out of Keith with his poor name. Yeah, Destroyer Keith. All hail Destroyer Keith. And uh, he's been actually spot on, hasn't he? He's been actually spot on. Um, the same 8 point... Actually, no, we hit him. We hit... That says 10.6, but I'm sure we got a, a snagging shot on him. So... I'm not going to go as far as they say, down to 8.1. I'm going to go down to about 9.9. .9. Okay, I should have gone a little bit more. Oh, she's bringing her... Oh, she's, she's turning to bring her... Stop it, Keith. Stop it. Okay. You've had your moment. Just don't push my... Don't, don't, Keith, come on. Right, um... 9.4, 10.5... Let's go, 10.2. We got a couple of hits on her, but it wasn't great. Let's spring this to port. Start dodging to give Keith a bit of a challenge, shall we? It's not sporting us driving straight all the time. 9.9 um, .9 was long. 6.7, they're saying. Wow, that seems short. Let's go, um, 7.4. 
Now we've got a slight underwater skirt, uh, skim there. Oh, come on! Yeah, if Keith had bigger guns, uh, they'd they'd win just out of pure gun accuracy. Yeah, I know. It's, it's crazy, isn't it? We've just come out of port with these two ships. You're going to have to go back to get the um, ship over there repaired. Um, nine point... Okay, let's bring these in. We were a little bit long. 9.4, let's go for 9.6. And that is as much as Keith is going to do. All, all salute Keith. She did well. Or he did well, sorry. You know, that is, that is, that is a fair old battle. Holding, you know, your own for several goes against um, a heavy cruiser and a... And a Destroyer as well. That's pretty. That's pretty well. Oh, well played, sir. Well played. Ah, oh. she's gonna spend take forever to sleep, sink beneath the waves now, isn't she? Yeah, she is. Okay, fine. You had your moment, Keith. Stop. Um. Oh, it wasn't a destroyer. That we did have a, a light cruiser as well, the Levzig. Okay, sorry, the destroyer was a previous battle. I'm getting all mixed up. So we killed the light cruiser, uh, Ajax, for nine thousand seven hundred renowns. The uh, light cruiser Sheffield for twelve thousand. Uh, the destroyer Jervis for sixteen ninety, and Keith for thirteen sixty. He was the the lightest ship, but by far the best gunnery. Um, the heavy cruiser Admiral Shear has got light damage, and the light cruiser Leipzig has got medium damage. Um, but we did earn 24,750 renown. Nice. Well, these two can uh, head back to Kiel then and get some repairs. <laughs> but you know, we've got the Admiral Hip and we've got the uh, Richard Bedzin uh, under repairs as well. So let's get these in as well. Um, so that's going to be six weeks to get the heavy cruiser back and the light cruiser Levzig another six weeks <coughs> excuse me right I might leave it there because as you can tell my throat is starting to go and I'm coughing and spluttering and um, I've got a bit of man flu if you're late joining uh, so I'm battling on brave as my boys in the navy here <laughs> well not quite I've got a I've got a, a, a beer as well which is kind of taken the edge off which is quite nice um, but yes thank you ever so much for joining me tonight I will be po posting this up on YouTube if you missed some of it so you can catch up on the bits you missed um, yeah it's been great to chat to you Monk, um, the Nermit <coughs> excuse me Captain uh, Lockheed, it's been great to chat to you guys tonight, uh, thanks ever so much for joining all those lurking in the background, thank you for joining, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, have a pleasant evening, as I say I'll be trying to bring some more live streams as um, soon as I can uh, the I've got um, better internet being installed hopefully in the next couple of months as in proper fibre to the house uh, so we'll get some better live streams, better quality more often I think, that's going to be the way forward so thanks everyone, have a lovely evening and uh, I'll see you next time, thanks guys bye bye